Welcome from the world of tomorrow! Or, rather, hello to the world of tomorrow! Futurama? Anyone? We're the sexy robot party, everybody's disco dancing. We're the sexy robot party, everybody's disco dancing. Okay, so my name is Tom, and today we're supposed to talk about the future and talk to the future about geeky topics. This is something I am quite qualified to do. So, right now, a lot of what's come about is what I kind of like to call a, a kind of almost a geek pride mu movement or, or a nerd pride movement. No longer are people kind of, you know, closet Trekkies or hiding the fact that they like one thing or the other. One can safely wear a shirt like this, which to, to own, uh, no, it's the other hand I got to I can never get the back and forth right. Hopefully you guys have figured that out, you know, in 2031. I can wear a shirt like this, which is very clearly a World of Warcraft reference to anyone who knows World of Warcraft, and people will, on the street, go, hey, that's cool! Oh, what realm do you play in? Oh, that's awesome! So I think that's exciting, I think that's something that's really coming out. There are a lot of people who just kind of jump on this, and people who say, oh, yeah, I'm a big geek, I really liked the first Star Wars trilogy. Oh, to clarify, first Star... no. First Star Wars trilogy, as in the first chronologically in order of when they take place in the Star Wars timeline, not chronologically or first in terms of production. So as in episodes 1, 2, 3, not 4, 5, 6. Anyone who says they like episodes 1, 2, 3 and that makes them a geek? I'm sorry. Not alone, anyway. Not alone. So what geeky things are going on? Online gaming is becoming a, an increasingly big issue. It's very rare that you'll find a game that is a single-player game only, and, and this has become a, a really big thing. It, it's cre increasing people's interaction, but it's also creating a lot of griefers. There are some people consider the scum of the earth run around in Modern Warfare 3, and wow, sometimes I'll be the first to admit, and things like that, and it's becoming a problem. People are getting bullied through that, and that's an issue. That's something we worry about. Um, but that's that's just that's just a minor thing. Technology. Uh, we are becoming increasingly more interconnected. Uh, we have these little tiny computers in our pockets now that can do things that were almost inconceivable five, ten years ago, even. You know, really, really, even five years ago. Some of what I can do, I still can't believe that I can do with this little device that I paid a couple hundred bucks for and I can keep in my pocket at all times. I really can't believe that. The one place where I think geekdom needs some improvement is in the television being produced. Now there are some really amazing shows out right now. Uh, Doctor Who, um, 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 yeah, that's the problem. A lot of geeky shows right now seem to be cancelled very quickly. Examples like Firefly, Farscape, even Enterprise, to a point, kind of got cancelled a, a little early. Almost anything that kind of doesn't find its audience, I mean, it's, well, Enterprise has got five seasons, so I can, I can kind of see that one, but anything that doesn't find its audience, anything that doesn't produce the right demographic, anything that doesn't get the right ratings, gets cancelled and gets cancelled fast. Um, the, the only kind of... The only exception to this rule would probably be Dollhouse, a Joss Whedon gig that lasted for two seasons. And that was kind of a stretch. We were kind of surprised that it lasted that long. Right now we're slowly moving into a lot of this stuff being produced more online. Niche shows like The Guild, um, a kind of World of Warcraft spoof show, have actually found a pretty decent audience and have seemed to do pretty well for themselves. And I think that's probably where you guys are at now, and that's probably we're probably just at the cusp of that now. Producing stuff in a lot more low budget, a lot more kind of, you know, on your own. But you can make some of these things look really, really amazing. I mean, maybe not to you, but you can do a lot just through there. And I think that's probably where a lot of the entertainment is heading, and we're kind of on the outskirts of that now. So Anyway, I hope that uh, shows you what's going on in 2011, and... Hopefully by now you're watching the 20th, the, let's say 15th season of the uh, Firefly reboot.
done by Joss Whedon, of course, with Nathan Fillion starring somehow. Thanks, guys.